Genesis chapters 36 and 37. And these are the generations of Esau. This is Edom. And Esau took to himself wives of the daughters of the Canaanites, Ada, the daughter of Elam the Ketite, and Olibema, daughter of Anna, the son of Sebagon, the Evite, and Basimeth, daughter of Ismael, sister of Nebaioth. And Ada bore to him Eliphas, and Basimeth bore Raguel, and Olibema bore Jeus, and Jeglom, and Cori. These are the sons of Esau, which bore to him in the land of Canaan. And Esau took his wives, and his sons, and his daughters, and all the persons of his house, and all his possessions, and all his cattle, and all he had got, and all things whatsoever he had acquired in the land of Canaan. And Esau went forth from the land of Canaan, from the face of his brother Jacob. For their substance was too great for them to dwell together, and the land of their sojourning could not bear them, because of the abundance of their possessions. Esau dwelt in Mount Seir. Esau, he is Edom. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of Edom, in Mount Seir. And these are the names of the sons of Esau. Eliphaz, the son of Ada, wife of Esau. And Raguel, the son of Basimath, wife of Esau. And the sons of Eliphaz were Theman, Omar, Sophar, Gotham, and Kenaz. And Thamna was a concubine of Eliphaz, the son of Esau. And she bore Amalek to Eliphaz. These are the sons of Ada, the wife of Esau. And these are the sons of Raguel, Nacoth, Zare, Somi, and Mosi. These are the sons of Basimath, wife of Esau. And these are the sons of Olibema, the daughter of Anna, the son of Sebagon, the wife of Esau. And she brought to Esau, Jeus, and Jeglum, and Kore. These are the chiefs of the sons of Esau, even the sons of Eliphaz, the firstborn of Esau. Chief Theman, Chief Omar, Chief Sofar, Chief Kinez, Chief Kori, Chief Gotham, Chief Amalek. These are the chiefs of Eliphaz in the land of Edom. These are the sons of Ada. And these are the sons of Reguel, the son of Esau, Chief Nakoth, Chief Zare, Chief Somme, Chief Mosi. These are the chiefs of Reguel in the land of Edom. These are the sons of Basimeth, wife of Esau. And these are the sons of Olibema, wife of Esau, Chief Jeus, Chief Jeglom, Chief Kore. These are the chiefs of Olibema, the daughter of Aina, wife of Esau. These are the sons of Esau, and these are the chiefs. These are the sons of Edom. And these are the sons of Seir, the Korite, who inhabited the land. Lotan, Sobal, Sebagon, Anna, and Dison, and Asar, and Rison. These are the chiefs of the Korite, the son of Seir, in the land of Edom. And the sons of Lotan were Kori and Haman, and the sister of Lotan, Thamna. And these are the sons of Sobal, Golam, and Manakath, and Gibel, and Sofar, and Omar. And these are the sons of Sebagon, Ai, and Anna. And this is the Anna who found Jamin in the wilderness, when he tended the beasts of his father Sebagon. And these are the sons of Anna, Esau. And Olibema was the daughter of Emma. And these are the sons of Dison, Emmada, and Asban, and Ithran, and Karan. And these are the sons of Asar, Balam, and Zukam, and Jukam. And these are the sons of Rison, Hos, and Aran. And these are the chiefs of Kori, Chief Lotan, Chief Sobal, Chief Sebagon, Chief Anna, Chief Dison, Chief Aser, Chief Rison. These are the chiefs of Cori, and their principalities in the land of Edom. And these are the kings which reigned in Edom, before a king reigned in Israel. And Balak the son of Beor reigned in Edom, and the name of his city was Danaba. And Balak died, and Jobab the son of Zara from Bozora reigned in his stead. And Jobab died, and Asom from the land of the Themanites reigned in his stead. And Asom died. And Adad the son of Barad, who cut off Madium in the place of Moab, ruled in his stead. And the name of his city was Gethaim. And Adad died, and Samada of Masekah reigned in his stead. And Samana died, and Saul of Rooboth by the river reigned in his stead. And Saul died, and Balanon the son of Akabor reigned in his stead. 
and Balanon, the son of Akabor, died, and Arad, the son of Barad, reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Fogor, and the name of his wife was Metebel, daughter of Metraith, the son of Mizoob. These are the names of the chiefs of Esau, in their tribes, according to their place, in their countries, and in their nations. Chief Thamna, Chief Gola, Chief Jether, Chief Olibema, Chief Helas, Chief Finon, Chief Kenes, Chief Themen, Chief Mazar, Chief Magadiel, Chief Zephoin. These are the chiefs of Edom in their dwelling places, in the land of their possessions. This is Esau, the father of Edom. And Jacob dwelt in the land where his father sojourned, in the land of Canaan. And these were the generations of Jacob. And Joseph was seventeen years old, feeding the sheep of his father with his brethren, being young, with the sons of Bala, and with the sons of Zelpha, the wives of his father. And Joseph brought to Israel their father their evil reproach. And Jacob loved Joseph more than all his sons, because he was to him the son of old age, aiming for him a coat of many colors. And brethren, having seen that his father loved him more than all his sons, hated him, and could not speak anything peaceable to him. And Joseph dreamed a dream, and reported it to his brethren. And he said to them, Here's this dream which I have dreamed. I thought ye were binding sheaves in the middle of the field, and my sheaf stood up and was erected, and your sheaves turned around and did obeisance to my sheaf. And his brethren said to him, Shalt thou indeed reign over us, or shalt thou indeed be lord over us? And they hated him still more for his dreams and for his words. And he dreamed another dream, and related it to his father and to his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed another dream, as it were the sun and the moon, and the eleven stars did me reverence. And his father rebuked him and said to him, What is this dream which thou hast dreamed? Shall need both I and thy mother and thy brethren come and bow before thee to the earth? And his brethren envied him, but his father observed the saying, and his brethren went to feed the sheep of their father to Sychem. And Israel said to Joseph, Do not thy brethren feed their flock in Sychem? Come, I will send thee to them. And he said to him, Behold, I am here. And Israel said to him, Go, and see if thy brethren and the sheep are well, and bring me word. And he sent him out of the valley of Kebron, and he came to Sychem. And a man found him wandering in the field, and the man asked him, saying, what seekest thou? And he said, I am seeking my brethren. Tell me where they feed their flocks. And the man said to him, They had departed hence, for I heard them saying, Let us go to Dothaim. And Joseph went after his brethren, and found them in Dothaim. And they spied him from a distance. And before he drew nigh to them, and they wickedly took counsel to slay him. And each said to his brother, Behold, that dreamer comes. Now then come, let us kill him, and cast him into the one of the pits. And will say, An evil wild beast has devoured him, and we shall see what his dreams will be. And Reuben, having heard it, rescued him out of their hands, and said, Let us not kill him. And Reuben said to them, Shed not blood. Cast him into one of these pits in the wilderness, but do not lay your hand upon him, that you might rescue him out of their hands, and restore him to his father. And it came to pass, when Joseph came to his brethren, that they stripped Joseph of his many colored coat that was upon him. And they took him and cast him into the pit. And the pit was empty, it had not water. And they sat down to eat bread, and having lifted up their eyes, they beheld, and lo, Ismael and his travelers came from Galead. Their camels were heavily loaded with spices, and resin, and myrrh, and they went to bring them to Egypt. And Judas said to his brethren, What profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us tell him to these Ismaelites, but let not our hands upon on him because he is our brother in our flesh, and his brethren hearkened. And the men, merchants of Madian, went by, and they drew and lifted Joseph out of the pit, and sold Joseph to the Ismaelites for twenty pieces of gold. And they brought Joseph down into Egypt. And Reuben returned to the pit, and seized not Joseph in the pit, and he rent his garments. And he returned to his brethren and said, The boy is not, and I, whither I am yet to go. And having taken the coat of Joseph, they slew a kid of the goats, and stained the coat with the blood. And they sent the coat of many colors, and they brought it to their father, and said, This have we found. Know if it be thy son's coat or no. And he recognized it, and said, It is my son's coat. An evil wild beast has devoured him. A wild beast has carried off Joseph. 
And Jacob rent his clothes, and put sackcloth on his loins, and mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and his daughters gathered themselves together, and came to comfort him. But he would not be comforted, saying, I will go down to my son mourning to Hades. And his father wept for him. And the mighty knights sold Joseph into Egypt, to Petephres, the eunuch of Pharaoh, captain of the guard. Psalm 17, 18 in Hebrew, verses 1 through 16. For the end. A psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, the words which he spoke to the Lord, even the words of the song, in the day in which the Lord delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies, and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my firm support, and my refuge, and my deliverer. My God is my helper. I will hope in him. He is my defender, and the horn of my salvation, and my helper. I will call upon the Lord with praises, and I shall be safe from mine enemies. The pangs of death compassed me, and the torments of the ungodliness troubled me exceedingly. The pangs of hell came round about me, the snares of death prevented me. And when I was afflicted, I called upon the Lord, and cried to my God. He heard my voice out of his holy temple, my cry shall enter before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and quaked, the foundations of the mountains were disturbed when they were shaken, because God was angry with them. There went up a smoke in his wrath and fire burst into a flame at his presence. The coals were kindled at it. And he bowed the heaven, and came down, and thick darkness was under his feet. And he mounted on cherubs, and flew. He flew on the wings of the winds. And he made darkness his secret place. Round about him was his tabernacles, even the dark water and the clouds of the air. At the brightness before him, the clouds passed hail and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered from heaven, and the highest uttered his voice. He sent forth his weapons, and scattered them, and multiplied lightnings, and routed them. And the springs of waters appeared, and the foundations of the world were exposed. At thy rebuke, O Lord, at the blasting of the breath of thy wrath. He sent from on high, and took me. He drew me to himself, out of many waters. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 6 through 10. In all thy ways acquaint thyself with her, that she may rightly direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own conceit, but fear God, and depart from all evil. Then shall there be health to thy body, and good keeping to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy just labors, and give him the first of thy fruits of righteousness, that thy storehouses may be completely filled with corn, and that thy presses may burst forth with wine. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 9, verses 18-38. through 38. While he spake these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler, and worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead. But come, and lay thy hand upon her, and she shall live. And Jesus arose, and followed him, and so did his disciples. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years came behind him, and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned to him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. And Jesus came into the ruler's house, and he saw the minstrels and the people making a noise. He said unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed him to scorn. But when the people were put forth, he went in, and took her by the hand, and the maid arose. And the fame hereof went abroad into all that land. And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. But they, when they were departed, spread abroad his fame in all that country. As they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with the devil. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb spake, and the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never so seen in Israel. But the Pharisee said, He casteth out devils through the prince of devils. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted, and were scattered abroad, as sheep having no shepherd. Then saith he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. 
Pray ye therefore, Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. 